let's go hit the way back machine. Let's start with Breeze first. So you were were you in the same class together in Purdue? Were you the same year with him? Yeah, he came in the year after me. Okay. I actually got to Purdue and Joe Tiller thought it'd be a great idea to, you know, put me a tight end. Uh, I did play a little bit of tight end in high school, but those days quickly left me. After my uh, freshman, my true freshman year at Purdue, um, I had hurt my shoulder in a training camp that followed that season, and uh, I swallowed a couch basically and took a year off. And so by the time I came back as a left tackle, you know, at a very svelte 270, um, Drew Brees stepped in, took over, you know, the quarterback position, and uh, man. We had we had some incredible years. So, uh, did you did you know how special this guy could be from from jump, Matt, or was it something where you watched him, you know, begin to blossom? What was it like back in that day with him? It's it's interesting. He he gets there, and it's a guy that people talked about as oh, he would have been a big recruit. You know, he, he, he's from this you know incredible Texas town and. You know, uh, his his grandfather is a coaching legend, but he's just not big enough. And that was the knock on Drew his entire career, even coming into the NFL. You know, he's a great quarterback, but he's not big enough. But when he got there, it was very clear from day one that, you know, this guy was special. I mean, his ability to, you know, his accuracy. And to this day, I mean, you know, Coach Belichick, when we'd be in meetings, he'd tell the defensive backs, he's like, look, you can be all over his receivers. But Drew Brees is going to put the ball where only his guy can catch it, and he's going to do it that way every time. So, you know, um, he's he's been a special player uh, since since he started throwing that rock around. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.